So the difference between a good programmer and a great programmer is not how many languages they know. It's not how skilled they are in a certain level of code. It's not how complicated they can write things. The difference is purely how well they can communicate their ideas and explain um, their principles. And if they can't do that, then their code is basically useless to other developers. So if you can't explain to somebody and communicate your ideas and your knowledge to another developer, then that's the difference between simply being a good developer and a great developer. A great develop developer can explain to a junior how to do complicated problems, or they can explain their own code to a non-developer. And that's really the level of, of where you want to be with your code. So in order to do that, uh, you have to first be able to understand and identify an issue um, and really understand your code and what you're trying to achieve and break it down into technical specifications, comments in code to help explain what's going on. Um, and to be able to then communicate that with others and to you know portray that information. Um, as well as then getting questions back from people that say, I'm not, I don't really understand that technical spec or I don't really understand this point. And for you to be capable as a great developer to find another way to answer that problem. Because again, if you understand your code and you understand the problem, you don't have to explain it one way. You can, you can break free of those rules and that hard definition. And you can come up with like analogies or non-coding examples of how something is or why it is. Um, and that is where you will really progress again outside of directly developing for yourself or simply coming in code into being able to train others and step up your career to go from a senior developer to maybe a team leader or an architect to really flesh this out and, you know, control a team and, and merge the team and bring them up. Um, and that's kind of what I guess I'm doing again in these videos is I'm, I'm trying to explain my knowledge and concepts to many thousands of people with different opinions and different views. And when questions get asked, being able to respond to them in a way that not only simply repeats what I've said in a video, but tries to listen to what the developer said or what the person in general said and how they didn't understand something and try to figure out why they didn't understand it and then give them an example and some either something they already know, maybe another language or simply uh, if they're a car mechanic, I might explain it in mechanical terms. If they're uh, they work in a supermarket, I might want to try and explain it based on principles in a supermarket. So it's been able to, again, communicate your ideas and your knowledge to others um, that don't have that level of knowledge. And that I feel is a key difference between becoming a great developer um, and a key step if you want to go from a senior developer to anything above that level. Uh, so again, let me know what you think on, on that opinion. Let me know what you think about if that's the way you feel you, you progress from a senior to above. Um, and also if you agree about being able to explain your, your code to others. Um, and yeah, hopefully this was useful.